Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of um, Civil 3D Earthworks series. Yes, we are starting the Earthworks series today and um, today I just want to show you guys how to do a topsoil stripping. So it's normally called a clear, a clear and grab and I'll be showing you guys how to do the clear and grab and also how to calculate its volume. So what happens is after a site has been established, the first thing that is needed like to be done on site is that they need to clear the site of vegetation and if there's tall trees. So um, basically that is what is called uh, topsoil stripping or clear and grab. Um, if you are in South Africa, uh, we are governed by the South African national standards. And if you want to understand more about this clear and grab, uh, please read SANS 1200C. So um, in this SANS, it, it explains to you basically what is clear and grab and how many millimeters normally we take off as your, your topsoil and, and all of that. So um, uh, in today's episode, I will just be focusing on teaching you guys how to calculate um, topsoil. And also, without wasting any time, um, let's get into it. So as you can see on my screen, let's say you and your, um, and a client came to you and said, hey, look, I want to build a parking bay for, uh, for my workers or even for commercial or industrial. It can be any. So you and your, the client, you sit down, you decide how many parking bays he wants, how he wants it, um, the kind of security fencing he wants and all those details. So now let's say you're done, you discuss with your client and now um, you're about to establish the site. So what happens will be uh, in order for you to successfully do this topsoil stripping, first thing first, by now I am confident that you know how to create a surface. Uh, as soon as you're done creating your surface and you've um, put in your uh, block plan, which is the plan that the, that the client wants, and all that you have to do now, you create another surface and you can call it clear and grab or you can call it topsoil strip. So we are going to strip the topsoil. You say, okay. So normally the geotech will go on site and take um, different test pits. And when the geotech report comes back, it will tell you exactly how thick your uh, vegetation or your, yeah, your, root, your vegetation and their roots are. So normally it varies. Most people will say 300 mils, but in, in other sites you, must find that you might find that you have to dig as deep as like 600 mils. So, um, as soon as you're done creating your topsoil strip, you come here, drop down definition, under edits, you right click and say paste surface. So I am quickly going to paste my NGL into the surface. Reason being, I'm pasting my NGL because I just want to um, cut out my topsoil straight from the NGL surface. So as soon as you've... Um, Paste that in your NGL surface. You use your fence as your boundary. So I'm going to use this fence line as my boundary. And I'm just going to draw a polyline. Oh, that one didn't snap where I wanted to snap. I'm going to close it. So you draw a polyline that follows exactly the fence line. And then you come under boundary, you add. So this time we're going to choose an outer boundary. Reason being we want it to not show everything on the outside and only show inside a fence. You can give it a name if you want to. At this moment, I'm just not going to give it a name. I'm going to say right click. And as you can see, my boundary is there. I'm just going to make my NGL surface to no display, change it to no display. And then I am going to change my topsoil strip surface to 
0 0.1 and 0 0.2 contrast. And as now you can see, we've clipped the surface just to show um, what we wanted to show. Um, our basically to show where our side is. As soon as you have this, you drop down against the definition. You come under um, um, edits. There's a function that says raise or lower surface. You click on raise or lower surface. It asks you the amount to add to all your elevation. So let's say the geotech came back and said everything needs, we need to strip off 500 mils, for example. So because I'm working in meters, I'm just going to say 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. That means you're lowering. If you put positive 0 0.5, that means you are raising everything. So at the moment, I said negative 0 0.5. Can you see? It says meters. So if you are working in millimeters, it will be 500. Because I'm working in meters, it has to be 0 0.5. So... As soon as I have lowered the whole surface by 0 0.5, just going to show you, I'm going to do a quick profile. So I'm just going to do a line there, right click and say quick profile. Quick profile, you just want it to show without any, um, without any properties or it's not a formal thing. So as you can see, this is where the NGL currently is. And this is where the top soil strip is currently seating. Can you see? So let's say now you want to now calculate the volume between the two surfaces. All that you have to do, you go to analyze. You say volume dashboard. And here you call it cut and fill or you call it yeah cut and fill topsoil uh, your base surface is your NGL and your comparison surface is your topsoil strip let me see okay as soon as that is done it's telling you obviously we're not expecting to fill anything that's why our fill is zero and our cut, it's 5,311 cubes. So we normally would round it to maybe 5,320 cubes even. So this is showing you that the top cell strip of this parking bay, it's going to be 5,311 cubes. Okay. Yes, so that's the... <laughs> long and short of it of how you can calculate your topsoil strip